I faked him as the three-way call. So he had a very slow accent. I was like, well, let me tell you something about this Craig here. He is a dedicated, young, driven individual, smarter than most that I've seen from the East Coast. Let's go home. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. We cool. have a very, very, very special guest with this week. Uh-huh. I'm here. It's you. It's me. Yeah. And it's you. And it's and I did ask your name before we started this, but um <laughs> this is Craig. Craigie T, Craigie Balls, Craigie Tortellini. But most importantly, Crypto Craig. Whatever gets my attention. self proclaimed Crypto Craig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two four seven. Give yourself your own nickname. Way to live. <laughs> has anyone um <laughs> has anyone picked up on that yet? Like um No. Really? No, I was the biggest loser at Schneider Electric when I was like selling batteries. I and, kept telling people to buy Bitcoin. Okay. And, uh, and then the price went up and I would strut down the cubicle aisle, you know? Oh, so you legitimately like, was like, oh my God, that's crypto crack. Like it happened. Got it. I was a loser for a while until the price went up. I think a lot of people can, can relate with that in general yeah. though, right? What, which part? Being a, loser, Being a loser at a lot of things and then it became cool and you're like, look at me. Uh oh. No? Really? Uh, yeah, my yeah, boy yeah, won yeah. America's yeah. Got Talent and has a, he was a magician. Did not get a lot of love in magician as a middle school magician. Okay. Yeah, not as cool. So you not made cool. it and one America's got talent. Now he's the man. Wow. That was a rough ride. It, I'm I'm thinking back to um it was it um what was it the uh rapper? Um Mike Jones. Oh Mike I can think. Jones. Yeah, Lawson? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Mike it's, Jones. It's not my bad. I state flows. For a little bit of context, Lauren, how would you describe the dynamic, the relationship, the, the everything um that is Craig and oh my God. and our <laughs> new perpetual roommate? <laughs> um Craig is probably the only friend of ours that is allowed to fly here on a one-way ticket. Wow. It, it was a one-way ticket, but thank you. No, I know. No, we never talked said. about it. Yeah, yeah it was now. a one-way ticket. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're the only friend that's allowed to show up thank you. to our guest bedroom with a one-way ticket. I would have lied and said you had one on the way yeah. back, just in case she like had brought it up. just keep pushing it back. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, but um, why? Why is that? I don't know. Okay, so, I mean, <laughs> Craig is is kind of like, East Coast, Jeremy, a little bit. You guys are also about like half an inch off. So it's like, you guys are just two giant bearded men, oh, white dudes. Right. No, you, go ahead. That's bearded? Yeah. Come on. Is it not bearded? No, right? Stubbly? Craig got mad at me. He asked me what my, my beard routine was and yeah. he didn't like my answer and he hasn't respected my beard. Ever. Like before he was like, how do you get to always like, look like it's kind of fine. I got all times and I, I told him what I do. And he goes, nah, stupid. I don't like that. Like, no, and, I, I don't respect it at all. As a bald man, I, I hate to have to do this and grow a nice beard and keep, it's terrible. I'd what, rather have a flock. Do you, use a, do you use like a beard? Cause I know there's like beard, there's hella beard products, right? Yeah, tons. Is there an MLM for beard products? Uh, we should start one. I know a couple <laughs> that do distribute them. <laughs> uh, if you have 10 friends that are interested, I'd be happy to jump on Zoom. <laughs> so, on, and on that note, um, Craig actually happens to be um, subject domain expert on something that I think we're both fascinated by. Uh -huh. That I think, uh, well, looking at, America, apparently a large portion are, are um, currently indebted to. It's wild. We were yeah. Googling stats, doing- I We mean, didn't say what it was. And and by like also by doing research, I read the top two uh, articles on Google that came up when I Googled things about MLMs. Got it. Um, well, yeah, that was the context we were missing there. And then yeah. that is MLMs. Uh, and we did throw that- well, What does MLM mean? I was gonna, yeah. We threw that acronym out there a few yeah, uh, go ahead, times. Go ahead, go ahead. And if you don't know what MLM is, most people apparently don't know what it stands for either. And we're gonna break it down. Well, I'm not, you are. Multi-level sure. marketing or my new favorite term, as I've heard a few times this week, network marketing. Yep. Oh, that just, that's just even selling. a better, oh, <laughs> oh, that's even better. That's how you sneak under the Facebook group. Out of them, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> well, like what's crazy is like network marketing and social selling and everything. That sounds like a job description that could fit into your bucket. Network marketing sounds good. Yeah. Cause like yeah. you're just marketing to people within your network. You should start telling yeah. people that you are a professional and full-time network marketer online. Oh, they're gonna love that. Maybe. Well, <laughs> well then for, let's take it two steps back. Not to draw things you know, too far out, but I think a little sure. bit of context here as well. Craig, uh, yeah. who are you? Uh, how did I, um, Just, uh, why, uh, how'd you get here? Yeah, so shout out uh, for having me on the show. Uh, Rhode <laughs> Island, we made it to Hollywood. You guys, check us out. <laughs> uh, no, I was born in the dark. Yeah, I still started in MLM. Uh, I was from Rhode Island. There was like, nobody had any money. This is where business goes to die. And my father owned a hair salon. And I was like, you know, he's working his tail off and he loves what he does, but not this much. <laughs> And so when I saw a presentation that all I had to do was sign up 10 friends who would eventually go <laughs> sign up 10 friends who would eventually pay me $50,000 a week, I was like, well, I'm going to go do this. This is way better. By the way, you, if you give me that picture right now, I'd be like, I was like yeah, that sounds yeah, good. That's not that, that sounds, bad. And, like, you, I don't and have you to get cut a car? hair every day. This is great. Do you know uh, how to cut hair? Uh, no, well, that's, you know, 
Too soon. Too soon. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, I get too angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, got it. He shaves his, his health. It's like yeah. resentment. Yeah, yeah. yeah working on my own right yeah. now. That's okay. And by the way, in case you didn't pick up on it, Craig is um in what the how many phases are there of accepting baldism? And you're at nine. What, nine. Okay. Yeah, we're at, we're at ten. <laughs> okay, got it. Got it. You're accepting it, and um your plugs are coming soon. Yes, or, or not so soon. No, plugs yeah. are out now, right? We're going to Turkey. We're going to Turkey. Yeah, with hair transplant. Oh, full yeah. transplant. Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, got it. What's a plug? Plugs are different though, right? Plugs are the F U E. That's a separate episode. Oh, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, watch there's the same an MLM episode. for that. Okay, there's yeah, an MLM yeah. for that. Okay, so when you say you, you're, okay, what age did you discover yeah. your Lord and Savior MLM? Yeah, so I was like, you know, was trying to be entrepreneurial, I like sales, like the idea of making money with your mind or talking to people, like I got that, right? So uh, it started with Cutco Knives, which is not technically an MLM, this is direct selling. Okay, so uh, you wanna sure, go through the different sure. name? Direct selling doesn't necessarily mean you're growing a team, you could be selling Tupperware, you could be selling knives, whatever. So it started with Cutco knives. By the way, that oh. was the one that, that was, I, that was my only story I had. You sold knives. No, no, I got there one day and I, I was like- I guess you have to make a sale. You through. sold knives? No. Oh yeah. No. Oh no, yeah. No. I got, I, I got- Oh yeah. I got two the day of and I go, y'all are idiots. I'm not doing this. How do I not know this? Wait, this is so fucking funny. Yeah. Who, yeah. who roped you in? Well, no, that's a good question. I was probably, probably bullshitting. Was, no, I was probably bullshitting somebody somewhere about something. And they okay. were like, "Dude, you know what would be perfect for you?" And I was like, "Tell me well, more." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goes, so I know a guy, like kind of thing. And then you know, what if I told you there was a way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> All right, so we'll go back to my my co experience. Yep. Go ahead. Yeah, in short, I was just sitting there, you know, looking at everything else that happened in Rhode Island, and I'm like, wait a second, these the handles on these knives are the same material as a Porsche bumper, which is made out of bullet. People need these. By the way, <laughs> full, full tang. People need to know Full this. tang. Yeah. So I got <laughs> fired up about knives at the worst presentation I've ever seen. My mom's the only person that bought some. We quit, you know, so that was like direct selling. So I guess it was my first intro into there. And by the way, is that like the gateway drug yeah. to MLM? Knives? No, usually it's straight MLM, which was the second run with Mona V, classically famous. Mona V. Binary, two leg, berry juice. It used to come wine, like wine bottles of juice. Oh. Super acai. That was the introduction of the acai berry. And they did 950 million in six years until they kind of got shut down, went backwards, the binary imploded, compensation plan failed. And it's one of the famous stories. They were all too successful because they put acai on the map and everybody just put it out for nothing on you know Costco shelves. And yeah. Jeremy had an acai bowl for breakfast today. Yes, yes. sure did. Wow. Basically wow. an MLM. Right? Basically. <laughs> Uba tuba, we did not mean but that. Like, I wonder, if you had just unpacked all the successful things today and like got back to the, the root of like, how do we get this thing off well, the ground? Well, fucking Tupperware. I, I totally forgot that like middle-aged women used to have Tupperware parties and make all of their friends every, buy Tupperware. Every dish that They're I real ate. Wait, wasn't as a, there as one too with like ceramic plates? Wasn't yeah. that one too? Oh yeah. So, and people don't want to talk about this, but Richard Branson and Warren Buffett own a piece of Tupperware. These guys invest in MLMs. These guys wow. are idiots. I mean, I don't think of MLM when I think of Tupperware. You know what I think of? I think of Chris- Sad, uh, sad single moms. <laughs> I think of, no, Chris uh, DeStefanon or whatever saying- DeStefano? Tub, tub, Tupperware? Tupperware. Well, yeah. I think of every single like dish uh, that I ever had as a child, which was kept in Tupperware. Yeah. Oh, are you kidding me? We have a great collection downstairs. Yeah. Of which you made me throw in half. Well, I think it's come out that just about everyone is just riddled it's with just BPA cancer. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 a little yeah. side of cancer. Yeah, I could that, Is that included in the presentation that you make when yeah. you do the, oh, absolutely. the, the, the Tupperware thing? No, oh, no, well, no. So you'll say just about anything. So I read too <laughs> that um, it's MLM. What, can you can you walk through the legality sure. behind MLM? Because some of them are illegal, but yep. some oh. of them are not. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, uh, the word <laughs> pyramid scheme has been uh -huh. thrown out there many a time. <laughs> now a pyramid scheme is really like robbing Peter to pay Paul. So if you ever heard of like Bernie Madoff, famous $50 billion scam that he ran was just taking old investors' money to pay new ones. Right. So that happens every day in the world in much, many businesses. What makes it in an illegal pyramid scheme uh -huh. is if you're selling a product and the money that's coming in is more from the people that are joining the business and not oh. customers that are not attached to a financial opportunity. The CFTC has recently financial said that number should be six to one. So you should have at least six times as many customers as you do reps or salespeople which like wow. none of these companies oh. do. Yeah. Which, which is kind of insane though, because I think to myself, huh. wow, wait, wow. That's gonna, I'm gonna have to do this. So that's, right, that's the it's, test. It's, it's people reigning in people who are reigning in people and no one's actually selling anything. Yeah, I mean, some people do. I mean, it, like, listen, they, we were watching something the other day. They were saying that, uh, was it uh, New Skin, right? 93% of people that were in New Skin over the last year didn't make over $10. <gasps> Sounds terrible, right? <laughs> so who, who do you, credit as the best MLM pitch that you've ever got. One best that, ML, Kangan Water's got a good pitch. The pH levels in the, oh, it's best presentation ever. Go um, ahead. I, I just like, to me, like what, what, what takes the cake for you? The best pitch 
is, so when you go to these conferences, right. everybody gets up there, you gotta work on your story. Learn how to tell your 30 mm -hmm. second story, your one minute story. If you go over two minutes, you're a loser. Like, shut up, you're gonna get pulled off stage. And you had a five one along the way. So you want the guy that walks across the stage and you're like, if that guy is making this kind of money, okay, we can do this. So mm -hmm. they die for stories. Like they that's want right, the plumber right. that like yep. doesn't have a cell phone that signed up his one cousin who went to the top, bagged it, this guy's making it. And uh, so you want that kind of guy. And so one of them is, uh, what was it? Uh, Banjo Larry, dude. It, it sell more skincare in Texas than like any man in the history of time. Banjo Larry. He would come out with a banjo. He's an overall, like, I don't know what we're doing, but it's going well. And I want to thank the CEO and people would go nuts. This guy was a celeb. <laughs> oh my. Also Best. that would only happen in Texas. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. No, I can think of a few other states that would happen. Just fine. <laughs> yeah. Just fine. Wait, okay. So it's wild. And, and is there a, like an ideal, like obviously in my job, if I'm bringing people yeah. onto my team to sell things, they're there's no money to be made internally. I don't think I can do that. I think I, I'm think i trying to think of a use case where someone I bring in to the, 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 actually no, none of us can be indebted at all, like legally. So it's like, yeah. it's a completely different like structure. So who do you look for to be your, like you bring in, right? There has to be like what you're looking, like I know what I'm looking for yeah. when I want like somebody else to sell, but like, what are they looking for? Like, oh, that, that guy's perfect, right? That, yeah. or she's, uh -oh. that's, uh -huh, This that's feels it. like a, like a, a prey question. question. What? Like yeah. who's your, who's your prey? But it's true, like who is uh, the It's ideal? a great question. Yeah. The easiest way to answer it is deep pocket dummies. <laughs> to start, because you got to get off the ground. Right, but like, well, it's the opposite. Like I'm looking for people that, that like don't need money, you, yeah. Yeah. right? Which I'm, I'm sure everyone at some like levels like, wow, that like, I don't need money. Like, well, I'll just put this to work kind of thing, which I get also as well. But yeah. like the idea of like going after somebody who has <laughs> already has value to, to literally everybody but themselves. Yeah, no, it's true. It's a weird dynamic. Yeah. No, it really is. So ideally now you'd want somebody with a following that okay. is like a niche following that could go produce, like push content on social media, whatever. Back in the day, you needed somebody that was hungry, that could mm -hmm. like present, was willing to learn, yep. work hard, go to multiple meetings every Extrovert. week and, you know, throw the hotel meetings and do all this stuff. And so it's just, so it's changed a little bit. Right. Um, but like, if I was to stack it up now, it used to be hotel meetings like crazy. Now it's just- And what is a hotel? You just- Yeah, what's a hotel? You buy oh, a hotel is where it goes. So every week you gotta have a weekly hotel meeting. Okay, there's okay. a system to this. <laughs> okay, walk us through it. Saturday trainings, uh, usually Tuesday or Wednesday night meetings at the hotel. You rent out a little room in the hotel. You okay. do the presentation. And when you say like a conference room or like- Conference a, room. Oh, okay, okay, got yep. it. Yep. I was like, y'all just like hop into like a yeah. two- yeah. Like a double queen. That's that's what I'm, I'm throwing. There's I'm two people. Yeah. If somebody else threw it, there's hundreds of people. Right, got <laughs> it. crazy. Got it. Uh, it's so they even charge you to come in as a guest sometimes. It's crazy. Oh, you Imagine weren't charging a guest to come check out your presentation. Uh, wow. wow. Awesome. Awesome. Some, honestly, great sellers. Yeah. yeah, yeah no, yeah, it really that's, is. That's, that's selling. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna start charging for my meetings. Yeah. That's called consulting. Oh yeah. True. <laughs> True. No, so it's absolutely wild. Uh, and so there's like this weekly routine. I think a lot of people do it because they're they're looking to be a part of something bigger than yeah, themselves, community. right? That's yeah. why people do yeah, religion yeah. a lot of times. That's why they join whatever local club. Like, And so they get that out of it. It's great. But I would say I would, all like the great contacts that I've made in my life are somehow tied to somebody <laughs> at MLM. It really is. And there's some great people that have done unbelievable, but for the most part, especially right now, this business is a mess, especially in the United States. God, yeah, I like how you say this business. I know, yeah. I was gonna say this business. So it's okay, a real biz. What my brain is stuck, or like the, the blank spot that I have that I don't know the answer to, is when you just say you recruit 10 people. Yep. So just say you're selling dog toys, right? But you're like not really making so again, it's like you're not really selling dog toys, yeah, but yeah. like you you are. You're recruiting dog toy sellers. Yes. Yes. So when they continue to recruit more people under them. Where's the, like, how does the financial structure work of making money from the other people who are, yeah. and not really dog toys are not really getting sold. So it's like, where does the money come from when it has the whole pyramid built? That's comp plan, a great comp plan. question. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's many different like comp plan structures. The most common are like two. So the mode is called a binary comp plan. Okay. That's where you see all the circles in the pyramid and you're like, oh, I just need to get one guy left and one guy right. And some of the other ones are a little crazy, right? So they have three legs or a matrix where you go 20 legs wide. So it's a, it can change, but for the most part, you're growing a sales organization. You're taking a rip off everything that that organization does. You make a little bit more off people that you personally bring in as salespeople, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. Every dud knows a stud. You could land on somebody, <laughs> you know, levels down that takes <laughs> off and just, t you know, runs Laguna Niguel now just doing all the meetings. You don't know. And- uh, How the things you just said, I, okay, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it Laguna Nigel? 
No, it's Nigel. Is it Nigel? It's not Nigel. <laughs> I've thought it was Nigel for forever. <laughs> I, I know I've nothing always, about California. I promise you, I, it's not Nigel. I believe you, and that you said that, and I was like, I think I'm wrong here. Yeah, yeah. Well, what did we just learn the other day? It's ad nauseum and not ad. at nauseum. I, I thought it was nip it in the butt my whole life. It's yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah, that, that one's butt. I I'd, yeah, let that, I'd let that one roll. We can edit that. Yeah. 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 No, <laughs> no, I, I definitely, in. at <laughs> nauseum though, I, I would have put money on it. It was at nauseum. A little Greek, a little Latin, a little something. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. It's funny, there are all these gimmicks that promise a great night's sleep. I don't care what kind of topper there are or how heavy a blanket may be, it's lipstick on a pig. If you're sleeping on a terrible mattress, your sleep will be terrible. It's that simple, that's why I recommend sleeping on a purple mattress. Purple mattresses have a gel fix grid, which is a game changer. We have been obsessed with their pillows. The grid supports your shoulders and neck throughout the night, giving you a deep sleep and avoiding any potential neck pain the next morning. The gel fix grid is different from memory foam, which remembers everything. Thanks to the gel flex grid, purple mattresses bounce back as you move and shift. You'll never have that I'm stuck feeling people get when they get memory foam. My parents actually call it uh, the trough mm, when they get yes. stuck in the trough. The trough, right. Well, the the squishy soft material also does not retain heat. And as you know, we are a bit sweaty sleepers. <laughs> One of us more than the other. Uh -huh. One of us actually only okay. compared, to, compared to the other. <laughs> anyway, so this has been a huge help in improving our sleep. <laughs> Getting a great night's sleep starts with having a great mattress. Get a purple mattress. Go to purple.com slash wild10 and use code wild10. For a limited time, you can get 10% off any order of $200 or more. That's purple.com slash wild10 code wild10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Purple.com slash wild10, promo code wild10, terms apply. Becoming motivated to get back into a good workout routine can be seriously hard. Really, really Especially hard. Especially when it's still kind of winter, mm -hmm. the weather has a tendency to make you wanna stay inside, cuddle up on the couch. Peloton is here to help with the Peloton Bike and Peloton Bike Plus. Peloton is always changing up its style with new classes and instructors on rotation. They offer a ton of variety, which keeps you from burning out by doing the same thing over and over again. Peloton has a workout for every day and every schedule. De-stress from a long day with 30 minutes of strength and 20 minutes of cardio, or do a quick 15 minute total body class before work. Stay motivated while having fun with bike workouts, yoga, meditation, dance, cardio, and more. I've been incorporating boxing back into my routine and not only is it a fun way to work out, but it also helps relieve a ton of negative energy and stress. And since Peloton offers quick class sessions, it's easy to incorporate it even into the busiest of schedules. Tillys, we want you to accomplish those fitness goals. Visit onepeloton.com to learn more. That's O-N-E-P-E-L-O-T-O-N.com. Anyway, we, we digress. I messed that up. And so- So wait, I still don't understand though. Like where does the money come from from right, the bottom so and how does it make it up to the top? We're, we're going like that. So okay. you're getting a rip off of your entire organization. Yeah. All right. So for a lot can of companies, we say we journey? pay to infinity. Yes. Can right. I get a user journey? Like yeah. you day one sign up, right? Yeah. Um, oh, this is great. Yeah. 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 You sign up and the idea is to move up the organization. And let's say that this person is, uh, but they're moving upward, not downward, at least for yeah. a couple of years. What's that look like versus like where they're bringing the money in versus where they need to bring the money in versus where their, their dollars are using? Like, how's that work? Yeah, it's crazy. So <laughs> it typically, it's changed now, but it mostly would start with a call that you don't pick up because you feel like you're gonna get pitched by somebody who's MMLF. Okay. You don't take the call. Right. <laughs> you get a text. Yeah, you know, I got something you got to see. I got to talk to you. Give me like two minutes. You know, you're gonna get pitched. You take the pitch anyway. You go to the hotel meeting and you're yeah, somebody that is just has no idea what they're talking about is making great money. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let me talk to this guy. <laughs> Fucking Banjo Larry. And you ask him how he did it and he's like looking for a next stud and you're in. So I remember I was uh, working, I had like struggled in MLM for years and was like, I didn't want to do it. I didn't like it. Did but you like, know it you were sense. doing MLM? The financial model made sense. Yeah. 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 Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, and then when I was like 26, I met this guy, uh, Ron Forrester. He was in the skincare company. And I, I went to some Saturday meeting that my one of my buddies who sold insurance told me about. I checked it out. <laughs> And everybody like the dream was to make 10 grand a month. That's the level in network marketing. That I mean, you're a six yeah, figure earner yeah, that's, from that's home. 120K. You don't have a boss. That's, that's great, right? Yeah. You get all kinds of write-offs. Um, but like, that's cool, but that wasn't like that big to me. And so being from Rhode Island, we never met anybody like this. So uh, the guy came up and he was making 70 grand a month. I literally pushed everybody out of the way. I said, <laughs> sir, I'm taking you to go get oysters. Tell me whatever I need to do, who I need to do it to and for how long and I'll do it right <laughs> now. 
And uh, so I locked in with this guy. So I think it takes somebody like having success. Right. That makes sense to see it. Like, right. okay, this at least works. May okay. not be working for these guys. That's fair. But it, the model works. Some, yeah, right, some, right. Somebody can figure it yes. out. Yeah. <laughs> Got Aspirational. It. Yeah. Yeah. So once you see that, then you lock in, you get your little workbook, you go home, you're told to write down a list of everybody you know, a list of everybody they know. And you know, if you just go through these exercises and don't prejudge, you have thousands of names of people waiting to talk to you, right? Um, waiting to talk to you. Then we need to group these people. Yeah, who has no influence? Who has a lot of influence? Who's busy? You wanna to talk yeah. to the busy people that have influence, right? But if you don't have any influence yourself, your pitch to them is like, hey, listen, I really respect you in business. I was just, I, something came across my desk because I had to sleep in my mom's basement because I have a desk. Something came across <laughs> my desk and I was hoping that you would just take a minute to look after it to make sure that I'm not getting burned because I so respect your decisions. But if I sent you a quick video, would you take a look and give me your honest feedback and just pray that they don't hang up? <laughs> but, but like, I, literally I hate this because if someone I thought was the total, 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 total loser yeah. and I genuinely could give them three minutes and help their, their entire you life would. out. I would. Yeah, you totally like, would. Like if they had That's like a very No, wholesome. he's going down to two. I do three. Like, yeah. Like if if I thought they didn't need it, I'm like, fuck off. But I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. all right. Senator. No, that's like a wholesome question. Yeah. That if you're not the worst person in the world, you would say yes to. Yeah. Yeah. No, how do you say no? Imagine getting the call. Unfortunately, the worst person in the world's on the other side of it. Yeah. No, <laughs> right. but imagine like some 20 year old kid who's trying to make it calls you. It's your friend's son. Yeah. He's trying to be entrepreneurial. Yeah, you'll take the call. What are you going to say? I, you okay, do. so do they, so what, so what happens next? Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, so you and they're not going to listen to you. So the whole idea is like you don't want people selling, right? You want them just sharing third party information. Oh, that is the same for everybody. Okay. That way, if I can just teach you to share or shoot a text, you know, you might not be a great presenter. You might not have all the answers to the questions. We're relying on third party tools okay. to do the work. Okay, okay. It used to be magazines, okay. then became videos and tapes and DVDs. You know, it, it really has evolved. But uh, third party tools, whoever's pumping the most third party tools through the organization, that's a perfect presentation every time. You know, so. You end up just becoming distributor of content, magazines, videos, whatever, samples, and let it grow. Um, well, I still don't understand where's the where is the money coming from? Yeah. So most people when they <laughs> sign up, it's yeah, we'll get to that. So some <laughs> it's supposed to be off product sales and people getting started. Right. Now most MLMs, uh, oh. especially product MLMs, there's like a starter pack. Oh, so, oh wait, this is where it comes in where you have to put your own money up to it to yeah, get which, started, which, right? That's not, not, I mean, that's every business in the world or at least should True. be. True, yeah. yeah, right, 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 but, right, right. And, yeah. But the benefits and even the tax benefits of doing this for 500 to a thousand bucks, you can lose money for three years as long as you had a dream <laughs> yeah, and still write it <laughs> off. It is good for some people rather than, you know, taking 30 grand out and starting a tannin salon. Like it's a, it's a legit, you know, opportunity to, to save money on taxes. I just wanna make sure that we're talking about a tannin salon. Tannin salon. Tannin. No G in tannin. Yeah, but tannin. this money, so when you get started, I'm signing you up today. All right, hit, Lauren, you know what? You're gonna kill this, but I want you to move fast. I don't want you to go slow. Let's get you started at the thousand dollar packs. So you have enough uh, bottles to sample out amongst your friends. God, and honestly, it. your friends are gonna do what you do. And if we wanna grow fast and not really take our time with this because success loves speed, then we should get you started here today. I'm sold. <laughs> I'm hundred percent sold. Yeah. So then <laughs> success do, loves you, speed. do you take any dollars of that thousand dollars? Yeah, so right off the rip, oh, if I personally recruit you yes, and for a thousand bucks, I'm making an average of two to 250 off the rip. It's pretty oh, good. Oh fuck, that's, I thought you were gonna say like, like 50 bucks. Well, now it is, but yeah, like max 220, wow. but like 160 to 220. Okay, so like like 20%. Then I'm getting a percentage of your weekly check match like every week or month or whatever. So oh all the, but basically you're growing these buckets, right? They're doing sales from customers coming in. They're yep. doing sales mainly from new people getting started and all this money like fills these buckets. Got it. At the end of the month, it all funnels up through the computer system and it tallies out who brought in who and did what mm. and gives you a rip down everything forever. So. It's kind of like the now money versus the later oh, money. So the okay. idea is like, don't worry about growing a huge team and managing everybody. Go sign up as many people as you possibly can. Most people quit, we'll land on a couple stars and help them duplicate and do the exact same thing. So we're gonna give you more money up front and load the comp plan so you get fired up and excited and have a story. But the idea is you're feeding that little check that grows over time yes. exponentially. And that's the residual income that comes from all the schmucks buying skincare for the rest of their lives. Holy shit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That, that connected so many dots for me. Yeah. Yeah, well, my MLM light bulb. Lit. Yeah, all right, uh, lit. Well, lit. it just it makes sense that like the products that make the most sense are the ones that have an expiration date. Yeah, uh, consumable products are usually best. Yeah, um, you want somebody to run out of it every month. Right, or yeah. it, but right. either they don't. Oh, that part's bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah you well, want you them get, on auto ship. Like, yeah, you yeah. get residual income, not from new people signing up from auto ships that they're on every yeah. single month. You fucking now, vitamins. Oh my god, there's like one probiotic that I'm taking right now, and I'm so backed up because it, I we don't need to go into details. Whoa. Backed up, backed up, backed up, or backed up on the up. product. 
<laughs> what? Yeah, well, back that up. Genuinely on this probiotic, literally both because there's too much fiber in it. Anyways, Whoa. I've cool. got too Whoa. many. Whoa. And that was Wild Till Nine. Thanks guys. Thanks. <laughs> I want to thank our sponsors over at Pepto Bismol. <laughs> <laughs> you know you like a, I was like gonna a, say you you're love, a Pepsi guy. You know what? I, yeah. You know what Craig just is that found? what it gave me black tongue? By the way, I don't. Yes, that's I was gonna say true. Craig this just learned that if you eat, especially the chewies of the Pepto, it turns your tongue black. Is that so? We both had one, and I his did, tongue was white. I did not have a no. Pepsi. I think he, I think he no 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 Pepto Pepto. Oh, but you know that what comes out on the other side of shake Pepto is black. Yes. I Stop think me. it's charcoal. I think it's charcoal that helps neutralize the stuff that's like making your stomach was, feel bad. Concerning. Anyway, well, yeah, you would have black tongue. Like, <laughs> yeah, yes. like, but like 12 hours later. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Very in the strange. morning too, the next day you took more and tongue black. Well, now we know. <sighs> now know. we know. Yeah, okay, any immediate questions from this? I mean, I have so many. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's a pretty serious rabbit hole. <laughs> I mean, honestly, listening now, I'm like, that is a pretty, uh, pretty, yes. Uh, Listen, the idea is good, right? right. So yeah. like, if, if I wanna start a business and we want to hire salespeople, I need to hire people and pay them a salary to hope that they sell shit. So then like later we'll give them a commission and, and whatever, there's a lot of overhead with that. There's training, there's a lot of turnover. Yep. Um, here, you don't hire any salespeople. They pay to get started and you only pay them if they make sales. Right. So it's just a different distribution network. I There's see. pull through marketing where we put out ads and stuff where you inquire from us. This is very much push through marketing. We're moving products into the marketplace, whether you like it or not. You could be a spokesperson for the MLM industry. Yeah, for like the AA of MLM. Of MLM. MLM. Right. Yes, <laughs> like exactly. recovery MLM. By the way, exactly. is there one? Uh, yeah, so remember with like the clip that we saw? Yeah. Like in, in, oh, yeah. in Latin America, they're everywhere. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like therapy for MLM. Yeah, it's like really big business. Like Marketers does, Anonymous? It sells like $350 billion a year. Okay, before. okay. I'm going to run through some stats real quick Talk just to me. give us uh, some perspective. So this is from, again, uh, Fundura by NerdWallet. So I'm not entirely sure how Legitimate. credible these sources Legitimate. are. Yep. I like it. I mean, it sounds pretty good. So tw this is a 2020 or 2021, I think. Uh, so about one in 13 adults have participated in MLM, true or false? Not true or false, but like, do you feel like that's I, true I would false? say higher. Higher? Yeah. One in more than one in 13? Absolutely. 83% of, 78% uh, of all women in the United States who make over $100,000 a year do it through some form of direct selling. I fucking- Shut the fuck up the right stat, now. Literally the stat that I, I, like I was reading all this stuff <laughs> and the one that I was like, this can't be real, please work. Thank okay, you. here's my next Which one. Which is why it's so easy to fall in love in MLM because these girls are dreaming there, you know, it's amazing. Uh, MLM industry grossed $35.4 billion in 2018. That's gotta be just in the US, worldwide it's- Oh yeah, that's just US, that's okay. just US, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, it costs an estimated 25 grand to launch an MLM. No, way more, if you wanna fail immediately, yeah. More? Oh yeah. How much do you think Pro it really It depends is? if it's a product or service. Well, when we've done it, like if we're the guy, we might have done it with tomorrow, uh, owns one. <laughs> um, you know, we're not going there, but uh, at least 1.3 to really do it. Million dollars. Yeah, especially if you need, if you are not, if you're manufacturing your own products, then absolutely. No, no, oh, no, yeah. I think I think this means to, oh, to launch an ML. I think this means like when you're recruiting a new person. Oh no, no, it's much less. Yeah, much less. Okay, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, cause like with the people, the starter pack, a grant. Oh yeah. So you think it's less than 25K? Oh, for sure. Yeah. That would, if you see yeah. a starter pack for 25 grand, just absolutely run. <laughs> <laughs> run as fast as run you possibly can. Run faster than you should run already. To no, if I see it at 25 yeah. grand, I'm calling you and going, I, they've either done it. We found one. Yeah, we, I, have, I have an opportunity they've either you done need it. to yeah. hear about. Yeah. 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 Um, 66% of MLM participants invest less than a grand. I say that sounds probably right. That's probably right. Um, and then this one, only 25% of MLM participants turn a profit. It's less. That feels way, less. way less? too, that yeah. feels way too high. Oh my God. Yeah. It's way less. God, way oh, and high. wellness, um, and this one I feel like aligns with everything you said already. Wellness and cosmetic slash personal care are the top direct selling categories. Yep. Well, Vanity and beauty are never going away. It's mad. That was the pitch when we were doing skincare. It's like, guys, you walk into a Macy's and look at every part of this store is sold and rented out by the square foot, except for one section that you see as soon as you walk in, guess what that is? Skin and beauty. <laughs> and it's the only part of the store they sell by the square inch. It's how valuable oh, the space is. Really? Lancome, Lancome and L'Oreal are just fighting. <gasps> and they battle for this department store space. Now it's changed since Macy's no longer is relevant, but this is how it used right. to work. So skincare, skincare companies are crazy in this space. Oh my God. So have you, Jeremy, have you ever um, been recruited outside of your one day of knife selling for an MLM? That was knife throwing. That's a little different. Yeah. Did yeah. I say knife throwing? <laughs> no, <I'm kidding>. oh. <laughs> Jeremy, when you used to be a sword swallower. Yeah. Tell us uh, <laughs> yeah. No. Well, we needed the certain part of the count plan. Like you, you had to prove that, like you know the product. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I am. Um, well, I think does meeting Craig count? No, no, 
no, he's he's a recovering MLM Thank addict. Thank you. Yeah, we don't. Let's not rub it in yeah, my face. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I mean, he's not recovering. What do you, you mean? You never recovered. Yeah, you no, never. Once you're in, you're in. No, um, I don't. I don't think so. Huh? Really? That's actually shocking. Because I mean, he's been in sales for so long. Yeah, but like, I hate being sold. That's absolutely not true. Sometimes we had we had a bug guy come to our door one time, um, and like they they shockingly go door to door to like see if you can hire them to like do the yeah. bug spray and stuff like to make sure that your your house isn't infested by. I'm, I'm a sucker for all that stuff. Yeah, but like, oh. I, but he like got like three like three words through like whatever he was trying to get to, and I was just like, here's the exact thing that will get this thing closed. And he goes, I can do that. Done? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is this, this might have been a different thing. Then you let the guy pitch, and at the end you were like. That was a good pitch. I will fire my old bug guy. Yeah, I think I might've done that. Yeah. Jeremy you know, likes a good pitch. He was like, I got time. I got time. I like yeah. a good pitch, me. but people are just so bad. Here's why I, I'm not attracted to it because sure. when I see that there's like a, a, an army of people that are doing the same thing and selling, mm. I'm like, uh, no, not interested. Yeah. You don't wanna be part of the army? I like to sell something that nobody else has figured out how to sell. But babe, what if you're the leader of the army? No, not interested. Now what let's talk uh, like big numbers here, right? So yeah. some of my buddies, like the top network marketers make a lot of money. Like, like how much? Good. Like a lot. So the top one is Alex Morton, for sure. Okay. Anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. And what's he sell? Or they're an owner. Uh, so he's- He sells the people. Executive Vice President now for iMarkets Live, or iMastery <laughs> Academy, because they've had to rebrand. Uh, he's gotta be pulling 3 million a month. A yeah, month? month? Yeah. What in the Absolutely actual balling. fuck? Got started in energy drinks, blew it up, controversial, went to Jeunesse, took a spot over at IML, blew it up in 2015, ran like crazy. And it's the number one like Forex trading education platform. Forex? Yes. Oh, oh, that's right. I have uh, heard about this. Yeah. Uh, right. It's like how to trade or whatever, right? Yeah. The whole like manual situation. Yeah, but for, Forex in particular is like- Isn't that already kind of There's like, like eight people in the world who make money trading Forex. Don't let anyone fool you. <laughs> but <laughs> well, do we know someone who just- We do. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna we say, do. I think we know someone we who do does Forex yeah. trading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. God, God bless them. <gasps> you think they're one of the eight? No. I, like so <laughs> I also don't think they're I one like of so the eight. Either. Yeah. So like, if you were gonna start an MLM tomorrow- Yes. What would you start? Uh, we would just start a church, like we were saying. You're right, um, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, so that's good. Uh, if I had to start one tomorrow, all right, so the game has shifted radically. Like, okay. So the average product life sale cycle for like someone to sign up, how long do they stay on auto ship before they drop off because you know their wife left them because they spent the rest of their money. So right. that's usually 90 days. And okay. then someone drops up, that's to, in health and wellness is 90 days, skin core a little bit longer. Um, a service is what you need now. Amazon has destroyed product network marketing. Like, Why is that? Because- a, you can just sell it on Amazon, or right. you can get it on eBay. Or what happens is most people sign up, they go to tell their wife that they just signed up or tell their husband, the husband tells them they're a loser. They're like, oh my God. And they try to return it. The company's like, you can't return it, you bought it. So they just turn and try to dump it online. And they, or they get backed up with so much product because they're not drinking a hundred milkshakes a day. <laughs> <laughs> and so their garage qualified, their garage is loaded up with yeah, products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, ah, you know, even if I can get half my money back, let me dump it on Craigslist. And right. it's like, it's whack-a-mole. It's impossible for companies to try to shut this down. They try, but- you know. is, is, is it even like, what, you not authorized for- other sell, like, is that like the one yeah. you're trying to like hide behind? Yeah, yeah, like the terms and conditions are crazy. Right. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, like Amazon has created such an unbelievable user experience of convenience and low prices. These companies are marking up their prices like crazy. seven, eight X at least, because right. they have to pay all these people through the downline where I can get the same product, you know, not have to be bothered by anybody at, for a fraction of the cost. So it's, it's changed the game a lot. So if we were starting one, it would have to be a service. Right. Crypto and MLM have been the worst thing that's ever happened to the universe yeah. um, so far. When <laughs> Says I wrote, Crypto Craig. Yeah, when I wrote the 10 Crypto Commandments back in 2016, number four was crypto and MLM, never shall the two meet. When that changes, I will call you. But, it, <laughs> but like, you're so right because the, the, when it is combined, oh my God, yeah. no one wins. No and like one. back in the day, you could stay in Amway for 10 years, Herbalife for 10 years right. and not make any money and show up because you know, you're working on yourself. You had a good group of people and you were fired up about something, had the long-term vision. Today- I mean, how many videos were we scrolling through on TikTok just last night? You got six seconds. If the people aren't making money quick, they're going to go try to trade crypto, mint yeah. NFTs. Yeah. Yeah. Do, like they're, you're gone. There's never been more options yeah. to think that you might be able to do something well that you've never done well before in your life. Yeah, you're not sticking around for five years because right. like it makes you feel good. No, no, like, no like, more. What used to be like, the oh, I got this license. Oh, I'm trying this. It's like, no, no, no you don't need a license. Yeah. Yeah. No, just get started. Yeah, yeah, just go on Adobe and fake whatever license you have. Grab a Twitter profile <laughs> yeah. all day. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. 
This month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. We've talked about BetterHelp many times before, and I can personally say it has been such a game changer in getting the help you need. My anxiety never takes a day off, but talking to someone has been a huge help in working through it. Taking care of your mind is a part of self-care, and with BetterHelp, you can get the counseling you need right at home. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist, so you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and well till 9 listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash WT9. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash WT9. Tillies, it is 2022 and it's time to say goodbye to monthly fees with Chime. Bye fees. Chime is an award-winning app and debit card that has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly fees, or service fees. I personally would have really super loved Chime when I was in university. That makes two of us. And with over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs at many locations like most Walgreens, 7-Elevens, CVSs, you can access your money when you need it, where you need it. You can also send money to anyone, even if they aren't on Chime. Fee-free for you and no cash-out fees for them. When your checking account balance is running low, the last thing you need is an overdraft fee. We know how much those can set you back, which is why we are a huge fan of Chime. Make your first good decision in 2022 and join over 10 million people using Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started at chime.com slash WT9. That's chime.com slash WT9. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancor Bank or Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Get fee-free transactions at any MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location and at any Allpoint or Visa plus Alliance ATM. Otherwise, out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Sometimes pay anyone instant transfers can be delayed. The recipient must use a valid debit card or be a Chime member to claim funds. Okay, <laughs> so uh, there's got to be a story here that I'm, um, we wouldn't even know how to ask for, but like- There what, is. Yeah, what are some of the, the stories that you wish that like, if you could just turn that into- a piece of content, no one would ever want to like do MLM again. Cause like, okay, if that's a thing, I'm out. Yeah, so there's a lot. Or just um, a story in general that you feel like would be best shared with as many people as possible. Like sure. a, a teachable moment? Yeah, or not so teachable, fuck it. Whichever one. Teachable moment. <laughs> hmm. um, a teachable moment with comedy infused. All right, words. So the first guy I ever met and <laughs> like that was making big money at a big Texas oil accent, right? And so the whole idea is like, you want to get yourself out of the way, right? So I was finally gathered the stones to pitch my doctor on this skincare product, right? So I, I went in, it's like, Dr. Brooks, there we go, pitched him on it. And uh, so basically he was very uninterested, followed up, tried to talk to him, tried to talk to him. And what you want to do is set up a three-way call, especially back in the day. So this is the thing, oh. right? Three-way calling was just a thing. It's like, hey, dude, I'm so glad I got you. You're never going to believe this. I was able to get my mentor on the phone. He, this guy making like 70 grand a month. He knows everything about the company, the science, like whatever you can imagine. Like, Hold on one sec, let me see if I can get him. Obviously, this guy's waiting on the other line because he knows he's about to talk to a doctor. Here you go, you set it up. So I kept trying to do this. And the doctor was waiting and my buddy is just not picking up his call. Now, my buddy is, you know, seven-year-old guy from Texas. But um, <laughs> so he had this heavy Texas accent. So I was like, I'm pacing around my basement. And in my head, I'm like, if I land a doctor, I'm retired. <laughs> you know? Right, so I'm like, there's a lot it, of pressure. The, if doctor, the doctor's pushing yeah, it. Oh my God. I'm going to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I was all pacing around, sweating in my basement, like trying to figure out this call. And the guys, I could set up a three way call and he's not picking up. So I faked him as the three way call. So he had a very slow accent. I was like, well, let me tell you something about this Craig here. He is a dedicated, young, driven individual, smarter than most that I've seen from the East Coast. And so I faked this guy the whole time. And I'm having a conversation with the three of us as this guy. As two people? Yeah, as two people. Like the slow. You, you start answering yourself with the wrong answer. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> you start tripping over your accent. Yeah. Yeah. So like, obviously, call didn't go well. <laughs> Fast forward, I'm at the next conference. And I'm telling my one buddy, who's like one of the big earners, is just a friend in the company. And he goes, dude, I'm done. I go, dude, don't tell him. I'm going to get kicked out of the company. I don't know how serious this guy is, like whatever. And he came over. He's just like, well, that is duplication. Like, this is the best thing I've ever heard. So they had me faking three-way calls for all these people for like ever. I grew like this, this little group pretending to be this guy that was on these calls because I couldn't get him. And he was pumped up because he didn't have to be on the calls. He's like, you fake my voice all you want. So the uh, basically- Because it all came back to him anyway. Yeah, the right. idea of this is that you want to get the heck out of the way, let third-party tools do the work and use duplication. 
Wow. Trail systems do not. Wow. So yeah, they don't let any of this like turn you off from MLM. I hate it, but I've learned so many good, great things. I would say financially, it's set me back five years, <laughs> but relationally has set me forward 20. Like my network is huge, but my, you know, it's been crazy. Network marketing. Yeah. So I got pitched to do MLM once in maybe like my first year of university. It was someone that I kind of knew through like uh, acquaintances in high school. Okay. And she was doing uh, It Works. Okay. And so I feel like It Works if you're from my generation. Um, and It Works, was that popular in America? Probably, Absolutely. right? I yeah. have no idea, what is this? Oh yeah. So at the time it was these super fucked up tummy wraps and it was supposed to like make you, it, honestly, it was probably like like the sweat band, exactly. stomach sweat thingies that they yeah. have now. Like, like forget the pills, we're just moment. gonna wrap you in saran wrap and sweat it out right. of you. Right, which Kylie Jenner was basically doing a couple of years ago on Instagram yeah. too, like the Kardashians love no, that No, it worked, shit. I think. And it's it, It's just water weight though. Yeah. Just, like, <laughs> so anyway, so she was pitching the shit out of like, these cleanses and these body wraps. And she was just re fucking reaching out to everyone. Just like, yeah. I think that on Facebook, I just got like a very generic, just like, uh, like I'm, this is how I've changed my life. Like, are you interested you said, in joining? Yeah. I, d I don't think I even opened it. Oh, but you, on, I, I, did, no, no. I thought you were seven days in. It, yeah. The kit was oh, on the no, way. I want to see the before and after. No, yeah. no. <laughs> But it was so interesting because she on her Facebook every single day, and like it was maybe like every couple of weeks she'd say that she like reached a new tier, and now she had like oh, this girl's killing it. I like she had one. like and she had a kid like pretty young too, so she like had mm. this so like she has to do well. new <laughs> car. She's like I am now the breadwinner of the family. Like it was so crazy. Like how and much. Meanwhile, her boyfriend's like, what is this? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. But every couple of weeks she'd be gloating about like the new tier that she had reached, and like oh, yeah. being like the quote unquote you know aspirational thing that she wanted to get other girls to like get into. Yep. And then like, how does this happen with so many like, like I mean, I, I guess it's just like all the girls that I went to high school with now are doing it. And then there's another one that I've recently seen from people oh, that I know. It's gotta be Monet. Of which one? The, the hair products? No, the one that I keep seeing is that like, it's some kind of like weird life coach thing. Okay. And I don't, I don't even know what they're selling. I don't even know what she's like, what no the goal does. is that, yeah, the, I, what she's like trying to bring people in to do, but it's the same thing. Like, like I've a John changed C. my Maxwell life. Program? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I can, probably, I can probably find it. Hang no, on, hang so on. like a lot of the big speakers either came right. from LM or crush it at MLMs and go push tons of books through the organization. So oh. they'll speak. And then the CEO of, who is God essentially of the company comes out and is like, oh my God, everyone buy this book now. Here's the code. And like, you can't leave until you bought the book. Right. So like these your guys- Your exit ticket. Yeah. These yeah. guys like want to get to speak to MLMs because they go share it with their big networks. Like right. it, and like this stuff works too. Like if we needed to move people in a country, like we have millions of people ready to go in all different spots that are dying for an opportunity. So like the networks are in place, but there was an NFT MLM that launched yesterday and they did like $4.3 million in and 16 how, minutes. What was the point? Uh, Metabountyhunters.io. I don't know, I didn't met one. I'm trying to stay oh as far God. away as I can from it, but it's two legends behind it. Holton Bugs you know, made a hundred million in network marketing. Um, and so when you make a hundred million, do you actually make it? Or is that like you before cost? Uh, it's, that's typically after, like I'm talking about him as after. Got yeah. it, okay. Cause like, if you're buying half the shit- Like a hundred million dollars is a lot to make from this. <laughs> it, um, million dollars is yeah, a lot to make from this. What the fuck, that's a that's more than I'll they make my whole life. They run Houston, Texas. Right. Old well, bugs, a bug's life, come on, it's great. I did a bug's <laughs> life. But, but like, I just genuinely think that there's just so much overlap and it's like so gray area where it drops off. And I, I'm Overlap sure of what? Between this and like every world, like regular, like, Structure. Oh, oh, of like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Going out and finding people. Well, that's why it's so fucking things. blurry. Right. Yeah. Like, what, is there a question? If there was one question, if there is, that you could ask the person who's trying to convince you of said MLM that like, if they answer truthfully, yeah. will always be able to tell whether or not this MLM or not. Yeah. Is there a question? Yeah. Is, so I always, which is terrible. Uh, is it a binary? So is it two legs or three? Because if it's two, I'm negotiating my way into taking a corner spot. I'm telling, you know, I'm, I'm, Doing the dirty, okay. At MLM, which, and uh, if it's three, uh, if it's three, then we got to talk to the CEO because I got to see where the breakage is in this comp plan because it doesn't make sense for us to build or make breakage. the company give us a leg where we turn it into a binary. It's it gets very very crazy when you get to the math behind these things, but when you learn eventually, like you almost have to start low, just try to add value to somebody who's killing it in your company or the industry, then find out how it really works. And there's so many backdoor bridge country bringing in my whole team deals. It's crazy. There's lawsuits galore. Like, oh my it's, God, yeah. It's really big. Yeah. Right. We were kind of talking about this yesterday. Like if you're a woman working for Microsoft, making $30,000 a month, 
or, you know, 360 grand a year because the only people in MLM measure their incomes in yeah, a month or a day. Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's, your, what's your salary? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah, you'd be out of your mind if you tell somebody what you make a month. Right. I have to do uh, the math. Yeah, but in MLM, that's the thing. So uh, basically if she wanted to leave Microsoft and go somewhere else, right. like that company would give her a salary and or some kind of pack, she'd figure it out. Probably not gonna get sued by the first one that went to the second one. And MLM, yeah. if you're making $30,000 a month, which is really great money, especially in the United States, you know, you're gonna get sued instantly. And, or if you go over to the other company and you even tell somebody in your current team about it, which of course you're going to, it's like your family, you're gonna get sued. You instantly lose your what? income. So the other company, sometimes sure it makes what? sense. If you bring your team over, we'll give you 30 grand a month for six months and bridge you up to, so there's all kind of stuff that happens and that they can do. And when you learn how it really works, it's like, wow, this is actually run by a mafia. But it's, also, <laughs> but it's almost like that company is buying, it, they're giving that person enough money to like buy their little company. Yep. It's like an acquisition. Right, right, like right. We, yeah, we, like a we think that people, like your little it's army true. of people are worth X amount of dollars. Yes. Therefore, we'll give you this much to bring that army over here yep. so that they're one selling for us, but also not selling for them. So how'd you get out? What was like the, what was like the, uh, oh, the exit? Been, so I, I relapsed about two years ago. <laughs> 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 I, I saw the Maybe business. we should make a, a trip to uh, what was it? Did you say Brazil? Where Brazil? No. Oh, I'm huge in Brazil. Yeah. No, for the we go to Turkey. We get hair transplants. No. <laughs> Brazil. The, what the, where's the therapy again? What did you say? Uh, oh, the MLM therapy. Oh, they got them in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. maybe maybe we head to Brazil for a quick. There's little, like therapy uh, just for people that were in Herbalife in Latin America. Like it's really crazy. Around that yeah. that that targeted. Yeah. Well, it I saw is. the numbers. Big numbers. Yeah. Huge numbers. It had to come from somewhere. So you relapsed. I relapsed. Um, so <laughs> made it quick. I got to like, uh, you know, 60,000 a month Damn. Like, and, a, and probably like three, four months. And then that didn't last. Uh, <laughs> they screwed up a huh. whole bunch of things. It pulled back good people, but you know, it, it just wasn't it. And it was only cause it was like kind of like financial educational, whatever. And I was going to bring, you know, uh, but no. So after that, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely done. This is it. That was the last thing I'm, I'm doing. Um, and now you see them and they just look worse. You know, it's just, it's terrible. I mean, I, I genuinely don't understand how there's enough skin in the game with the internet yeah. to make it make sense. No, yeah, I agree. Right? Like, yeah, it's really crazy. So did you take a financial loss that was like, I don't want to do this anymore? Uh, no, actually that company still pays me every month. Uh, it's just, it never <laughs> shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. I think it's, it's like how money. I get a check from um, Tyler Perry for like the one line that I did in one movie. You get a check? You get what? A check. From Tyler Perry? Yeah. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. How, why? For, cause I was in a uh, boot to a Medea. Oh, I thought Halloween. you like, if you watch all the movies, he just sends you a check. You were in the Imagine? movie? Yeah, I was in the movie. I you had... don't strike me as somebody that would be cast in a Medea movie. It was, um, what are you trying to say? Fair question. Nothing. Fair question. I'm, I'm so intrigued. <laughs> no, but like, so like, why every, are you living my dream? It's a, it's a Halloween movie. And so every like October, November, I get a very small check and it gets smaller That's and smaller every year. Awesome. But people like Tyler Perry has a cult following. They are yeah. fucking, it's a huge. He really does. Yeah. So anyway, so I get a nice little check from. He's like the male Oprah almost. You're so right. <sighs> no one says that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> male Oprah. Hmm. Let's talk about a uh, LuLaRoe because I feel like sure. I feel like, I feel like most of our listeners and like the general person, even people who are in MLM, probably don't have like the in depth understanding that you do. Like the shit that yeah. you're saying is like over my head. No, it's like speaking a different language. It really is. Like nobody knows these acronyms. I get it. Yeah, you're right. So it's like no one. I have no idea what the fuck you're saying. Like it all it all makes sense. But I feel like even if you were like a middle aged mom, which is like the the primary demographic of MLM sellers. I see uh, seventy four percent are between thirty four and forty five on Facebook Lives. On Facebook <laughs> Lives, it, th that's like the new Facebook Live is basically yeah. the new um like the shopping channel when they used to do the uh, the call in selling. Really? QVC. 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 Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I mean, we have a few friends who are like young entrepreneurs who like really believe in like live shopping. I think live shopping- It's back. No, 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 live shopping is big. Just there's, it depends on what you're, you're buying and yeah. how that is going. Totally, there's totally. a difference there, yeah. I mean, minting an NFT is basically live shopping at this point now. No, no, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's different, but yeah. Oh, it's um, great. Anyways, so what I was gonna say is that like, I feel like there was this massive wave of LuLaRoe, LuLaRoe legging MLM sellers. It was crazy. It was huge. Yeah. Like, did you Did you know about them? No, but I knew of like a couple competitors that had the exact same model with like, you know, knockoff Lululemon clothes. Oh my God, this is not knockoff Lululemon. No, these were like nice. 
Oh, Lowe's, these ones were nice. Were, they were just way cheaper. Right, I see. Okay, so their thing was they did, it was like, you know, quote, buttery soft leggings, but they had some yeah. whack ass patterns. Like it wasn't like just your basic black leggings. It yeah. was like fucking crazy patterns and like Christmas, they had the seasonal ones. Yeah, I'm like and, Christmas leggings. Yeah. Mm. And like this had a phase for sure, like maybe eight years ago, 10 years ago, but now it's like, I don't really see people wearing like no. the crazy pattern leggings. No. And no. so girls would have just like these, mat they would like gut their houses to have these huge <laughs> rooms just full of these crazy printed leggings. And they got to throw parties, drink wine. Yes, throw parties, clothes. drink oh, yeah. wine. And it's an expensive and did it. But like, I don't even know how they made this happen because like how many printed pairs of leggings does one bitch want? How yeah, many? Which is a great point. You want a monthly auto ship. I'm going to put you on auto ship. I know a guy that started a socks MLM. No joke. They were like, Bionic socks or whatever. Yeah, was, I was signing for auto on socks. I don't have to like wash mine very They're often. They're like $60 yeah. pair of socks. Like, oh, oh, I was going, okay, yeah, no, right. like, so it shows you an MLM how much you need to market up to make money. And right. so right. my buddy's, I'm like, dude, I, I'll do whatever you need. I'll help, I'll buy whatever you need. I'm not signing, I'm not building anything. Just send me the link. And uh, so I look at it and I'm like, what? he's like, well, we'll just do the auto ship. I'm like, I'm not going on an order of socks for the rest of my life for 60 to like, that's that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So with clothes, is a not consumable product or like a membership, right. I think is tough to really build any kind of residual income. Yeah, that's so true. Especially with really tacky printed leggings. Yeah. And they had a lawsuit. And you know, probably not too many guys doing that. We can't, you know, we want something that appeals to both sexes. Oh, that, I guess a, that makes sense with skincare and like vitamins and stuff like that. That, that yeah. That's much more you like feet? unisex. You have skin? Yeah. You're, you're, you just, got, the right, you're just the right customer. I have the opportunity yes. for you. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed when I walked up to you, you had skin today. <laughs> Yes. But yeah, Lularo, crazy they had like, like a massive scandal. And I think because it was so recent, like so much social media got made around it. Yeah. And it was, that's like the most mainstream one that I personally like know of. Yeah. And people would do like these unboxings. They'd get their massive like yep. um, garage full of boxes of these leggings. They unbox and they've got holes, they're wet, they're moldy. <laughs> like they're just like falling apart. And it was uh, so crazy. And then it was like heartbreaking though, because so many of these like terrible. young women who were getting in this to be entrepreneurs, like they put up, I think much more than a thousand dollars. Yeah. like and they would lose so much so much of like the money that they put it's into tough. it but also like when you buy a product for the first time like if it sucks you can usually return it but like yeah. like you're saying the terms and conditions for half these things like yeah uh, like you you might not get your money back this is your investment yeah. like you own this business yeah, like, you're the idiot yeah like, <laughs> like, like you are literally the idiot you're assigned you're the idiot one more time you are the idiot sign here okay got yeah it. but like you know it's on a 473 page document that no one reads can't read it right yeah. so there's no returns no well, there is sometimes they've had to open it up like the cftc and like all the bodies of government that regulate like consumers not getting scammed in this space. Yeah. Uh, they they change and stuff all the time, like a hundred percent. So most of them have like a three day return policy or like a six. They try oh, to like three. make it before you get your box even, you know? Yeah. What? And then there's all kind of stuff. Damn. And then what the hardest part is like, when I, in my first company in 19, one of the things they revolutionized was daily pay. So like if you made a sale that day, your organization, whatever, you would get it paid right to your prepaid debit card for the company and good to go. I didn't care when I got paid. I just care if I got paid. Right. So that was cool. I'm like, I care about more about making money than when I get paid. So with this, um, if your computer is calculating and you're making sales and crushing it, they pay out these commissions like at least the next week. Right. So then if somebody returns it afterwards, then they got to go pull from your commissions and do oh. clawbacks. It can, it can really get messy. So it's hard for the company to decide. Like they need to know, okay, already we're at high risk. We know there's an unbelievably high rate of return here. What time frame do we need to buy from like the merch processor to pay out the reps before we know that that number goes down? It's it's a lot of math. I saw a stat that was like um, over 50% of people who do MLM come out within the first year. Yeah, they I do it say for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah I feel like it would be at least- What's that. like, so when you had friends that were, were coming out of it, like when they are, um, when they've recovered at yep. the MLM, what was what was like the, the most common, um, I guess, not like breaking point, that makes it sound too intense, but like what yeah. was the most common like exit reason? The company dropped the ball. Or it failed. Oh, you know? oh, really? So it wasn't yeah. even them. No, oh, company wow. got shut down. Something changed. Wow. Uh, new law, like software oh. went down. Uh, some huge leader left and took everybody new a new company kind of oh, thing, like stuff like damn. that. You know, damn. I the saw president TikTok. of sales oh, left. So a lot of it's not like self realization. It's no. like that you did not have another choice. Yeah. Like it is no longer available to you. So you had to do something new, and so you're either looking for a new job or like, hey, where would y'all go? Can we? Like, yeah. Yeah. So with Lularo, I saw TikTok. And um, it was, it was the one girl, she was, I think she like was crushing it. I think she was actually like, yeah. like just actually selling hella fucking leggings. Yeah. And um, she said that she left, she sold all of her inventory. So she didn't really like lose money or anything. She sold all of her shit. She's like, but I quit because uh, they just like weren't putting out new patterns and they kept like promising us like new yeah. designs. They never came out with it. She said, and then like at Christmas, the founders did uh, a print of their faces on it. 
She was like, that was the final straw. That's it. That was it. That would do it for me. Yeah. That, if you print your it. name on my, well, I would wear your face on my. I wonder if the skincare products are actually good because like, I know so many people who are. did like Avon and like Mary Kay. I actually had someone, um, there was like a house on my drive every day to high school that had the pink Cadillac. Yeah. That was oh, Mary no, Kay? No, that was Mary Avon. Kay. No, Mary Kay. That was Mary Kay. That's Mary Kay. Yeah. And so like how Absolutely. many sales, do they still do the pink caddy? Yeah. They do. But like a lot of these companies, the older ones, like the ones from the list that you looked at, like yeah. the top companies, yeah. they're all overseas. Like if they start in the United States, you know, you you get your rush, people quit. Mm. You might get some second form of momentum, maybe, but nope, they don't care. They're skimming, they're onto the next country doing it again. And they built a brand. And oh. trying to keep a lot yeah. of people that stay as it yeah. goes longer. Oh, so it goes international, a lot of these companies. Yes, most of them, oh. yeah. Most of all the ones you named, all do internationally. If you try to sign somebody up in Amway in the United States right now, like you'd be laughed out of the building. You What's can't Amway again? It. It's the largest MLM in the world. What do they sell? everything that you can imagine. What does it that is, mean? It is Walmart. It's Walmart. What, what, is it, what, is it, what do you need? Yeah, yeah, right, what do you need? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I we'll genuinely think that like link. with Google, it's a little bit easier to be like, yes. let me search this up. Like, oh, there's 9,000 things on Reddit about everything about like, this ruined my life. You're yeah. like, okay, got it. When you used to recruit people, yep. would anyone just like straight up ask you to your face be like, is this an MLM? Yeah, all the time. What's and, your, so, and what's the answer? Yeah, what's the, the hardest answer? part isn't like so much that, it's that, they're all excited, they're fired up, uh -huh. they go home, they're petrified to call their friends and pitch them, they finally do. And their friend tells them what an idiot they are. Right. And they come back and they're like, I can't do it, I'm quitting, somebody told me it was a scam. That's the hardest part. Right, right, right. It's right, being right. like, yo, forget your friends, they're idiots. Right. <laughs> <laughs> forget your they're friends, wrong. they're wrong. Yeah, they're oh, wrong. I hear this all the time. Yeah, that was hard. loser's mentality, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, oh so my, you there's saw my, a, my buddy Nick. Oh, Nick there's was a such million a guy. ways. No, it's true. And there's a million ways to counteract like this. There's all lines that you get, and like you know, everything's shaped as a pyramid. I don't have a problem with the shape. Look at you know, does your boss make more than their boss who makes right. more? Yeah, yeah that's of course. a common. Yeah, that's like how it works. So the shape, I don't have a problem with. But um, you know, it's kind of like you tell people like, okay, then like, what else are you gonna do? Like, do what else? You told me you wanted X. You plan to do Y. Like, how else are you gonna get there? And so you just put it back on them and they typically didn't have any vehicle to get to where they wanted, like for their dreams, which makes it like really, really hard in MLM. So emotional because like you got people that are like working their job. They're like, oh, maybe even happy with their life, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but they start, they get the, the nug in their head. They see the guy on stage making all this money and they're like, oh my God, what if that could be me? They start dreaming again. They're right. told to dream again, right. which is actually super healthy. So they use their imagination right. and wish the way, like this is the way life should be when they quit. They don't go to like where they were before that. They go to a place darker than that because now they had to give oh. up on their dreams and they're being told it's their fault. Oh. Yeah, Right, because they're not good at what they were trying to do. Yeah. Like yeah. They failed. Yeah, so oh and so is so making a hundred grand a month. So if it's not working for you, it's not that it yeah. doesn't work. It's that you don't work. You work on yourself. <gasps> oh my God, that's so <laughs> harsh. Holy yeah. shit. I think yeah. there's a lot of similarities between influencers and MLMs if things go the wrong way. Okay. Tremendous. Wait, okay, wait, hang on, hang on. I feel like you're making connections here that I don't know if I love, go ahead. I just yeah, like, can you imagine like if a, a like, okay, you don't do this cause you don't need to, but like, you know, all of the companies that will send out like these offers of like, hey, we don't pay anything up front. What we do is like, we pay you X amount of every person that you can get to buy this. Yeah, commission. Right, but like how many like products, especially for like smaller influencers, that's the only deal that they'll give them cause they're actually like kind of yeah. paid for the content. But that's just how commission works. That's like different than MLM because like I'm not getting other people to go do that as well. Like, and I don't take a cut of what they make. Which, Depends what we're which, which Depends. would make it more exciting. You by the should. way, by the way, yeah. Yeah. By the way why not? Eyes yeah. as you said that. <laughs> by the way, seems like a half-baked business plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's like, turn this up a but, notch. But think about it. Let, let's say you did sell, it, with the idea was like sell services or whatever. And like, you just got paid on, on hey, everyone who signs up for this service, right? Yeah. You get a cut of, right? And then, the ever for as long as you get a cut, like they're paying, you still get a cut of that. Or like if they sign on new people, then you still get a cut. Like I've I've seen things like that before. It's not like some crazy. I guess the Amazon ref, like uh, Amazon affiliates. So like if I use an affiliate code, if someone buys the product that I linked, I make um a. It's like I mean it's it's seventy like, cents. It's like seventy on, cents. Yeah, yeah, literally <laughs> on a thousand dollars. Yeah, which is great. And then if they buy something else that's not, if they just like use that link and then go buy ten other things that aren't that product, you make a smaller amount, but you still make revenue on. Them. All right, right, Amazon. Right, Start an MLM. Let's <laughs> there we go. go. Oh, no, right, like, Bezos, good work. But the difference but is- Does that still count as MLM though? No. If Yeah, right, that's not MLM because there's not a tier of people that you're making- it's two tier affiliate. Two yeah. tier affiliate, yeah. yeah. Wow. So, I mean, that's, but like to me, there's Anything overlap past there, three right? three tiers is MLM. That was like, you know, affiliate marketing. Oh, that marketing. makes sense. That yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. MLM so, has the dirtiest connotation in the world. Right. Network marketing was getting dirtier. So all these other were social selling, you know, yeah. so, direct yeah. selling, like it, it evolves over time. It's all the same. D direct selling, I wouldn't mm -hmm. have like thought about it that way. Cause but yeah, you're totally right. Yeah. What do I do? We're not sure. 
<laughs> you were you were doing yeah you were doing direct sale you were selling knives. Uh, no, 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 sold any knives. Did no. you have to cut the rope? The rope. So when you buy your first kit, Cutco kit, it comes with all the knives and it comes with like a rope, like this wide, thick rope that you have to use one of the knives to cut during the presentation. Oh, oh look, you like can cut sell. through anything in case yeah. you were stuck on a boat somewhere. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you need to in cut yourself out of these yeah. handcuffs of yeah, rope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I missed that. I missed that. The rope. Yeah. How much time do you think you've dedicated to? Um, the business, the expertise, the wisdom. Ungodly amounts. Yeah. Like um, more than, but it than. built like a pretty crazy Rolodex in the spot. Like when you make it an MLM, it's almost great. Like they want to make it an MLM to never have to do MLM again. Right. right. Like right. some of these people are making just outlandish amounts of money um, and then get involved in other business opportunities. And it's funny, if you're a good salesperson and you go into MLM, you suck. If you come from MLM and then go into traditional sales, you blow everybody out of the water. Yeah, I believe that. You know? Wow. I believe that. Yeah. You, you go from way MLM faster. to traditional. Oh, you blow everybody out of so the water. So you're saying that Jeremy would suck at MLM? No, he'd be good. Eh. He wouldn't you know? He wouldn't get back to anybody that like called him yeah, for three ways. That's true. Yeah. That's Literally, true. Craig showed up in LA at our front door because Jeremy wouldn't call him back. Yeah, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I I just there's so much overlap, but you're right. Like there's a certain level of like it's not about you selling. You're right. It's yeah. like I don't care if you're a great seller. Then like you're not using your like time well by actually calling people. Like just send no, out the materials and that send works, but it doesn't duplicate. Right. If my mom can't do it to your mom, your mom can't do it to her cousin, don't do it, don't teach it, Yeah, get out of the way. But also perfect <laughs> perfect fucking example, I don't like things that can be, like if I can be duplicated or if I, especially if I should be duplicated, yeah. I don't like it. I only like things that like, no, 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 you yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. fucking me. If you don't talk to me, you don't get there. <laughs> okay, okay, but I feel as if sometimes it could be helpful to maybe have two of you so you have a little bit less work. There you go. That, by and the way, log that, a few more hours of sleep at night. That would be wonderful. If we could find somebody who could take over The amount of times that you said that you wish you had a second you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. What a piece of shit he'd be though. Yeah. Oh my, yeah. if there was two of you, holy fuck, I would die. Your, Bald Jeremy. Your dream. Oh my Evil God. Jeremy. Like, Dude, it I'd looks like you're far. one of the left. house for yeah. like- But can you imagine like going on house. double dates with two of me? And that would be unbearable. Good Jeremy and bad Jeremy. Oh my God. But you don't know which was which that night? No. One has a full beard. Ooh. I don't know about that. That's not, yeah. that's not for me. That's not for me. See? Evil, evil Jeremy. Yeah, Evil Jeremy. I don't know. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Next. Uh, two of me. Oh, Even my, better. My dream. Your dream. My dream. Yes. Are you kidding? Everyone's dream. My dream. My dream. Squishmallows everywhere. That wow. amazing. You might be like you'd be fighting over moose. Oh, that'd be tough. You have something. I think you'd be catty moose. as fuck to yourself. I don't think you can get along with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure if I love what that says about me. I think yeah. I I actually think I could get along with myself better than you would get along with yourself. Because huh. I would I wouldn't think I had to like overlap with myself. Uh -huh. And you would like try and like yeah. make a Venn diagram out of it and then I don't think it would mm. work. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. You're like oddly competition, uh, competitive with things that are similar to you. Especially when it's me against me. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. All yeah. Right. Against the world. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, um, are you are you done? Uh, well, all right. So <laughs> let's wrap up with this. Yeah. I don't want people to think MLM's bad. I don't right. want them to think it's good. If okay. If this video can help somebody amplify their MLM business, then fantastic. Go to the top. Get your money. If it saves you from wasting time and going down a path you don't want, then maybe we have that. So don't let me paint a bad picture. Don't let me paint a good picture here. But it's 2022. If you're going to do MLM, do it on social media, build mm. funnels, sales pages, do all the crazy stuff. I looked at all my organizations and all the top MLMers that are like old school and have all these big networks got blown out of the water by everyone that knew how to do click funnels and run ads and traffic mm. like that. So like have a system, do go that way. I'm sorry. Anyone who tells you otherwise, lack to you. Uh, <laughs> it's true. It just is. They just don't want you to, you know, not do what they teach and then do better than they did. And then they look like idiots. So uh, the next piece is, um, you know, work harder on yourself than you do on your job. This thing's going to suck for a long time. Like starting any new business, go crush. If you're not sure what you're doing, you're not willing to like work your ass off here. No, a million times. And like, just get kicked in the teeth repeatedly until like it happens. Just don't do it. Go start, <laughs> go start, you know, some kind of online business. No, literally don't do it. No, go work at somebody else's business. I was yeah. going to say that. I feel go like work maybe for somebody this, else. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, seriously. Do it, Cause like it, it's rough and yeah. do not quit your full-time job until you're making at least five times what you do wow. on your side hustle as you do in your job. Five times. five times, why that number? Cause it always goes backwards. Um, there's, it goes up and down. There's ebbs and flows as there is in any business. Right. Uh, when you're this dependent on a company, it's funny, I made more money part-time than I did full-time. Cause it was like, I was so busy and trying to like work out these calls. And when I went full-time, I go, what do I, I just do this all day? Like everyone's <laughs> at work, who am I gonna call? <laughs> Wait, so from nine to five, you're yeah. twiddling your thumbs. Yeah, yeah, it was really weird. Weird, no one calls me back when I hit them at 11.30 AM yeah. on a Monday. At two o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday. Yeah. 
Heck yeah. yeah. And get a good accountant that can help you save a bunch of money on taxes, even if you don't sell anything. Even if you do it as a side from your W-2 job, the tax benefits are spectacular. Do you think MLM preys on people? Like, do you think like the overall structure of, of MLM like inherently preys on people who are desperate? Yeah, um, for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think so does, you know, religion to an yeah. extent. So does, you know, so do bankers. Yeah. yeah I used yeah, to yeah. work no, at Bank of America. Don't. You know, like we had to charge some broke guy $35 10 times in a day because he like overdrafted yeah, on gum. That's, that's know, preying that's on horrible. the You did that to somebody? Yeah. I, I was the one giving all the money back. Really? <laughs> I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry we did this. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was like, we have plenty of money. No, <laughs> yeah, no, you take this. You take this. Crack Bank of America. No, we can return that. Yeah, we're good. Actually, that was one extra. Just don't say anything. Okay, got it. How many different MLMs did you work with? It's a very personal question. I would say I've, Allegedly, some allegedly, capacity, allegedly, either like signed up, took a spot. That's the thing. Take a spot. We don't know if it's going to be big, but you don't want to miss it if it is. Um, <laughs> kind of supported a friend as a customer, actually signed up to build, uh -huh. and or like I've consulted with at least at least forty. <gasps> Shut the fuck yeah, up. 40? Probably, probably, probably more. Yeah. I thought you were going to say eight. No, I right. genuinely thought there was less than than two digits. I had sixteen sure. auto ships running at one time. Did you use any of the products? It's hard because you have like friends that are big in yeah, other companies yeah, and you like want to yeah. support them. Yeah. They're buying your service and like, yep. yeah, you can yeah, get wrapped get up. Yeah, you can get wrapped up spending a lot more money than you make. Damn. You know? Well, also like at a certain point in time, you like wallets, we get this, like yeah. you just lose track. Like yeah. where, 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 what, what, is, what even is this expense? No. Or where did this money come from? Like you just, you cannot yeah. keep up with it. And like, I don't care who your accountant is. No one's gonna be able to keep up with that new no. shit. Like, yeah. hey, you're gonna see some new stuff coming over here. I don't know how much it'll be, but I'm, uh, 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 I gotta go. Like, yeah. And then three months go by, and your accountant goes, "What? <laughs> Are you weren't supposed to be paying that? Well, good. Can you get your money back? No. No. Okay. No. Cool. And then Craig's sitting yeah. at home with a stomach wrap, um, vitamins, uh, a day. shake in his hand, an acai in the other hand, and uh, some creams on his face. I love that. Yeah. Well, it's so funny. That it's a perfect example, like just like it, why it, the the worst NFT stupid communities just like yep. like mimic all of this behavior and it's like- Oh my fucking they go God, up, I know, I know. They like take a bunch of money. Yep. It's a terrible experience. Yep. They disappear overnight, yep. Yep. like the company. Yep. And yep. it's like, well, yeah, there, there is a lot of that shit. And like, it is very difficult. I feel like to find the, well, you know, needle in the haystack here. Yeah. But you got a couple of them. You got a couple for sure. None of yours are good. Theirs are all terrible. In yeah. fact, everything we've put money into together, I'm, I'm pretty sure was sure. a giant waste of time. Oh, well, your NFTs? Most of them, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some good ones. Yeah, back yeah. at you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I got nothing else. Uh, we're going I to mean, San Diego. Yeah, we're going to San Diego right now. We're at uh, us and Crypto Craig, Diago, and Moose. D Diago. Shout out uh, LifeWave Technologies, an MLM based out of San Diego. Good guy. <laughs> 250 million last year, get it? Okay, they have to pay for that ad spot, so on that note, we're gonna go. Okay, bye! bye Thanks for having me, y'all. Rhode Island, Hollywood, we out. <laughs>